How's it going? This video is going to be the treatment algorithm for OCD. I'll just quickly go through a possible treatment algorithm and review some of the basic principles of treating OCD. So in regards to the initial treatment for OCD, therapy is actually favored over medications. So first line treatment should be ERP, which is exposure and response prevention, which is a form of CBT. So for OCD, therapy is more effective than medications, and also the benefits of therapy last a lot longer than medications. And it's worth noting that group therapy can be effective here. And there are also workbooks that highly motivated patients can do on their own. But the gist is basically all patients should be using therapy as first line. Some instances where we would use medications for an initial treatment would be if a patient had severe symptoms, you can consider combining the therapy with the medications at the start. Or if a patient is unwilling to do individual or group therapy or didn't have a response in the past to therapy. And also we would consider if a patient has a co-occurring psychiatric disorder which is fairly common in patients with OCD, about 60 to 90% have a comorbid condition. Most commonly anxiety disorders or mood disorders or somatoform disorders. If you do go the medication route, the first line option is SSRIs. So SSRIs lead to improvement about 40 to 60% of patients, so about half. And typically individuals experience about a 20 to 40% reduction in symptoms. So if these are prescribed, it's worth the psychoeducation that the patient's not gonna be cured of the symptoms, but they might become slightly more tolerable for the patient to better engage in therapy. Now just a few principles of prescribing the SSRIs and OCD. A therapeutic trial of a particular medication is typically considered 8 to 12 weeks, with at least a month at the max tolerated dose that's within the therapeutic range. With regards to dose, most fixed dose trials in OCD have suggested that higher doses lead to greater responses compared to lower doses. So it's not uncommon to see an OCD patient on a maxed out dose of the SSRI. All the SSRIs are generally considered comparable. In this population, citalopram has less evidence, and some people prefer to use fluoxetine, fluvoxamine, or sertraline for OCD. So again, here you're waiting about 8 to 12 weeks for the full trial, and assuming the patient's tolerating it, you're typically shooting for the maximum dose. If the first SSRI you tried didn't work, then typically you move to another SSRI. And it's not uncommon for people to try fluvoxamine here which is one of the SSRIs that we typically don't prescribe for depression or anxiety. So if the patient has minimal or no response to the SSRI, you have a few options. You can consider increasing the SSRI to a supratherapeutic dose, or you can consider clomipramine or venlafaxine. Clomipramine is a tricyclic antidepressant. It's possible that it works better than the SSRIs. It's not entirely clear if that's true, but it is considered a bigger gun medication, and it does have worse side effects and also venlafaxine. Again, it's not actually clear if it's better than the SSRIs. So there's limited data to support SNRIs for OCD, but a lot of practitioners are more comfortable with it than clomipramine. And you can also consider mirtazapine, which doesn't really have a ton of data on it. If a patient has a partial response to any of these medications, you can consider augmenting. So here you'd be adding a second medication. The typically first line augmentation is with an antipsychotic, and here target doses are on the low end, so much lower than how we use it in psychotic or bipolar disorders. So typically start with a very low dose of an atypical antipsychotic. Abilify, risperidone, and olanzapine have all been found to be effective, but I wouldn't use olanzapine first because of the metabolic side effects. One higher risk augmentation option is to augment with clomipramine. So a combination of fluvoxamine and clomipramine is supposed to be very effective. But you have to be really cautious here. Using these two medications increases the risk of serotonin syndrome, QTC prolongation, and other side effects. If these augmentation options don't work, you can consider augmenting with one of the more novel agents. Some medications that are possibly effective here are memantine, lamotrigine, N-acetylcysteine, topiramate. Anecdotally, I've seen good response to N-acetylcysteine, especially for skin picking disorders. Now, if a patient has an inadequate response to a bunch of medications, it's definitely worth considering TMS. So TMS has a moderate therapeutic effect here, and I think as time goes on, we'll see more and more patients going for these kind of things. And then as an absolute last resort for severe treatment-resistant OCD, there are some surgical procedures that can be done. Some other things that have efficacy, so moderate intensity aerobic exercise is known to improve OCD symptoms. And then there have been a few small randomized control trials that have shown a few natural supplements working, like milk thistle, valerian root, and St. John's wort. So to recap, the first line medications are the SSRIs, fluvoxamine might be the best, citalopram might be the worst. The second line medications, which maybe are better, but definitely have worse side effects, are clomipramine and venlafaxine. You can also consider mirtazapine here. 
When it comes to adjunctive medications, typically the first ones we reach for are antipsychotics, usually Abilify and Risperidone first. You can also consider Olanzapine, Quetiapine, Haldol, and Ziprazidone. Other medications that can be considered for augmentation are Topiramate, Lamotrigine, Mamantine, Ondansetron, and N-acetylcysteine. Then I'm just going to list some of the medications that have evidence that they're not effective for OCD. So bupropion, Welbutrin, Clonazepam, Clonidine, Buspirone, Clonazepam, Lithium, and Gabapentin. These medications have evidence against them working for OCD. They don't necessarily make it worse, but they're not effective. Stronger more than ever. Hour after hour, work is never over. Work it hard.